Hello guys, welcome back for another video on the Nasson restoration. As you can see I'm working on the drawings at this moment. And uh, there's another guy working on the drawings uh, with our group as well. Uh, this is uh, called Inventor from Autodesk. It's a very easy to work with program. And uh, one of the parts I'm working on at the moment uh, yeah, for the coming few weeks to make the, the, the actual part itself. The slat we already made some time ago. But the rest of the part except for uh, this front part we still need to make. And this is one of them. It's uh, the bracket for holding down the barrel when traveling like a travel lock. This is uh, for the inside. This is also used on the tone pack 43. And uh, this is for the Tone Pack 43, the front uh, travel lock, uh, which is not used on the Nashorn, but uh, they are still mounted on the Nashorn guns as well. So it's yeah, it's very clear that this is the exact same gun as used on the, the Tone Pack 43s. This is like a little bullet shield when you have the Nashorn. There's a little gap in front, and uh, yeah, for protecting uh, the crew against small arms fire, you have this little shield. This is a shim plate for uh, when it's held in the elevating mechanism. I show you later where it is, and this uh, I call the barrel clamp. I don't know the official name, but the barrel. Is clamped in this portion and this part slides over the slat when in uh, recoil. Then another part uh, is the, what I call the traversing mechanism since this pin is for traversing the gun. Then on the bottom you see this uh, curved part. This also will contain a gear and then from the top there will be a hole that I still need to draw in for a gear and a drive mechanism so you can uh, traverse the gun. <coughs> in this portion there will be a bearing. I don't know how it's originally made but we are going to use a very strong bearing uh, so that we can actually move the gun from left to right on this point. And this hole is for elevating. The elevating mechanism goes through here with a big gear. And this is uh, what I call the elevation part. Since this is used for elevating the gun up and down. In these two brackets there will be a curved uh, gear. And that will be accessible through this point with another gear for the drive mechanism for elevating the gun. And uh, here there will be going a shaft through and there will be a wheel here in this part. That will attach to the drive mechanism over here for uh, traversing. And on this part there will be a bracket going down with a shaft and then going up to a drive mechanism through this hole. In these two pockets that light up now there will be a shock absorber. And the shock absorber will be attached to these brackets. There will be like a, a claw inside with on this side a shaft that goes through that hole. And over here there will be the bearings for the trunnion and uh, the shaft, the trunnion itself will be welded in these two holes. So that's for the elevation uh, shaft. Uh, on this side to the trunnion there will be the aiming device that will be attached to the shaft that is a bit longer than on the other side. This is the recoil cylinder. Um, already made it uh, some time ago. Uh, the guys of you that uh, were visited at Militrex in uh, 2019 
uh, could see this part but uh, due to a little error on my behalf of reading the measurement on paper uh, I made uh, one section this one a bit too long but yeah it's only a mock-up since we are not allowed to fire it anyway uh, so that's easy to repair um, for the rest we all try to make everything as precise as possible uh, at this moment this rounded shield has a flat bottom but it needs to be curved around the barrel so uh, that needs to be changed on the NAS one itself it's already uh, curved but we need to check to what extent but yeah there are only two other NAS ones that we can use for measurements Then there is this clamp. Uh, that's uh, yeah, I call it the barrel clamp. Another, not this one, but uh, this one is for attaching the uh, the barrel to the recoil cylinder. So when it goes in recoil, it uh, takes this shaft, the small shaft, along, and then this will be working similar to a shock absorber. And there will be another recoil cylinder in here that's much longer. And those are the parts that we are going to make in the coming several months. And uh, next Thursday the NAS one will be transported home by uh, Dutch military for uh, them it's uh, exercise and they're also uh, working on uh, working together with museums so the Overloan War Museum is working with them and they helped us uh, yeah, so that we could collaborate in the transportation of the Nashorn so in uh, a few days times uh, I will post a video that the Nashorn is back home again and also Master Milo is going to uh, take part in transportation of the Nashorn back home so on his channel I will leave a link in the description uh, you can also see how we did the transportation and um, yeah if you want to see more of these videos don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the channel hope to see you next week again